Hello, 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 and welcome into the stream, everyone. Hey, what is up? My name is Unchallenge. Welcome to Unchallenge Gaming. Today, we are going to be checking out the latest snapshot using uh, Minecraft 1.20. There are some exciting things in the works that are coming in the next update. And in this stream, we're gonna go ahead and showcase how to download or install the latest snapshot and play it. We're gonna go through some of the new options that were added into 1.20 and we'll go ahead and play a little bit of 1.20 and survival. I don't know if we'll do like a hardcore series. I think we'll just kind of start it up in creative and take a look at what's in the world. Uh, so just some of the new eggs that they've added, some of the new features, and we'll talk a little bit about that uh, here on the stream. And what is up, Yuki? Welcome into the stream. First one on the stream tonight with a big old hi. Hello, Miyuki. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the stream. Now, uh, I do have Minecraft up on the screen right now. But before we go through the process of Miyuki. getting into it. Oh, wait. oh, so you can visit the old server now using the snapshot or use the official version carrot carrot. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, so there is there's you can download like the jar file and make a server running the latest snapshot, but we're going to go ahead and just use the latest snapshot in order to uh, load up 1.20. Okay, so uh, if you guys haven't heard the word in 1.20, they've recently added some really cool things. So number one, this is something that I had been looking forward to for a very, very long time uh, in Minecraft. Minecraft only offered five different options as far as armor leather chainmail iron gold diamond and then they have netherite chainmail i don't believe you can generally make by default i don't remember uh in all the times that i've played minecraft i have never made chainmail armor so i generally toss that one out and there's five you know leather iron gold uh, diamond and netherite so those are the general five and everybody looks the same everybody on the server has you know diamond at some point and then gets netherite and then diamonds are never seen or heard from again everybody just looks the same with enchanted netherite armor well in the new 1.20 which is coming up really really quickly this is probably going to get released within probably the next month or two and the way that they have it is that you can add additional armor trims on your armor and you can also adjust the color and the trim style. So you can put on different armor types and then add to that type of armor outside of leather. You can add different types of trim and then of the trim, you can add different colors of trim. So it's a really cool little feature. It adds over like 2000 customizable options for your armor. Uh, so that's something that they've kind of chatted down through here as well. And then uh, the smithing table is used with the smithing template. Another thing that they've done in the 1.20 update is they've made it harder to get netherite armor. So I think I, I saw like an article somewhere on it, but I don't know if it was in here or I had read it somewhere else. Uh, but essentially what they were wanting to do is a lot of players, they get diamond gear then they go into the nether, they dig down into like Y11, Y13, and they start tunneling around and they're looking for ancient debris. They get four ancient debris, they go get a smithing table, they plop it down, they turn their pickaxe into a netherite pickaxe. Boom, same process, same process, same process. Within less than 30 minutes to an hour, you have full netherite armor if you're lucky, right? You can use TNT, you can use uh, beds, it's really easy to get netherite armor. Well, what they're doing now is you will have to hunt down these smithing templates and one of the smithing templates, which can be found, uh, we'll talk a little, we'll get into the video here and kind of see where they're gonna be located at. But in order to upgrade your armor to netherite, you're gonna have to locate these smithing templates to even get netherite armor. So it's gonna add an additional step. So it's gonna make it more exclusive for players to get netherite armor. So uh, with that said, you know, there's there's the trim and the different style that you're gonna have to get netherite armor. And they've also added mob sounds in Minecraft 1.20. 
I, I haven't played around with these features yet, so this is all stuff that we're gonna go ahead and test out, play around with here on the stream. So with that said, if you guys have any comments or questions at all during the stream, let me know down in the comment section if you guys have an idea, if you guys have a comment while watching this on the repeat and you guys either want to test it or you know want to have me test it on stream, just drop it in the comment section below. Again, if you guys are out there, just like this video and we're gonna go into the process of how to download, let's see here, yeah. And Yuki says, oh, so you can visit the old server now using the snapshot or use the official server. Yeah. And okay, I got that comment earlier. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the process of how to install Minecraft 1.20 snapshot uh, on your Minecraft launcher. So everybody that has the online version of Minecraft launcher is gonna have like the mon Minecraft launcher pop up. Generally, it's gonna have a little uh, spinning gizmo. Let me go ahead and close this and I'll load it back up. Uh, on the new update, something that I just saw was they have a new little spin feature. They have the, uh, boy, I can't think of their names right Miyuki now. Miyuki said, sorry I was, I eating, was ice. eating ice. Man, what are those little guys called? They added them in 1.19, yet I still haven't used them for any purpose or actually done anything with them. Um, but uh, generally, once you've updated to 1.19.3, which is gonna download the snapshot. Now, if you go in here and you have the latest snapshot available, great, you can go ahead and select it and run it. Now, if you don't have that latest snapshot in there, you're gonna to wanna to go into your installations, select your installations, and then if you don't see it right here in these options, go ahead and select on snapshots. This is going to go ahead and enable any snapshots that are installed. You can see here that we had four options right here. We go ahead and select snapshots and boom, there is the latest snapshot. Now, again, if it's not appearing here underneath the snapshots, what you want to do is go into new installation, go down into your version, and then locate the snapshot 23W04 alpha. And that is right here. Uh, should be right here on, da, 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 da. I thought it was somewhere around here on the page. Yeah, it kind of talks about the weekly snapshot right here, 24. Oh yeah, so these are all the changes actually, changes. You have an enchantment glint on items and armor that is more subtle versus like bright. They added new armor trimmings and systems to customize your armor. They added a smith and template items. Said, it's gone forever. Your ice, your ice is gone forever. You can redesign the smithing table. Oh uh, yeah, they have redesigned the smithing table, which we'll take a look at. Uh, they've made changes to how netherite armor is equipped and crafted. Equipment is crafted. They've added smithing templates, which is how you add trim to your armor. Netherite equipment has also changed up a bit as far as how you can get it, uh, where you can find the pieces in order to craft and upgrade netherite armor, and the armor trims. Like there's, there's 2,000 ways you can customize your trim on your armor, and I really, really love this update because 1.20 is going to push people to explore Minecraft. They are going to have to go and look for pillager outposts. They're gonna go look for desert pyramids, shipwrecks, jungle temples, ocean monuments, ancient cities. You're gonna have to find a woodland mansion if you want Vex armor, Vex armor, right? How many woodland mansions in your Minecraft lifetime have you actually came across? I have only came across maybe, maybe three to five, if at all. Out of like the hundreds of Minecraft worlds that I've you know, loaded up and played on, I have really only ran across maybe three to five woodland mansions. Miyuki said, Builders, we don't even have builders, to try. We don't even have to try. It's gonna be really cool. Like this is going to be such a really good update to push people. Hey, if you wanna have some customizability, you're going to have to go out and explore. And then they have ingredients on how you can define your color. So here's how you can define your color uh, and some other little technical changes. But we'll go ahead and jump into the game now, okay? Uh, so yeah, right here. You click on your latest snapshot. Man, I just went off on a rant. <laughs> I went off on one of my rants. Okay, so. If you have the snapshot here, great, go ahead and select it. If you don't have the snapshot there, 
Make sure snapshots is enabled right there. If it's not there with an enabled, go to new destination or new installation, select here, go to the latest snapshot, go ahead and give it a name. Go ahead and also give it four gigs. Uh, generally 1.19 or higher is going to want uh, four gigs or more. Go ahead and create that. Go back to your play function, locate the installation that you just made Miyuki. of the name 23W. Z. And hit Everybody play. else is trying to find the wooden mansion while us builders is trying to find a dark oak forest. I forgot the name AAAA. Yes, the dark oak forest. The uh, the dark oak. Man, now I can't think of the forest. I know in, in ultra hardcore, you want to find these forests because that's where you get your mushrooms. Um, but, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and load it up. You can tell this is 1.20 uh, because it has Minecraft 23 Whiskey 04 Alpha. Now, this is important. When you're wanting to install Minecraft 1.20, if you go in here and just create a world and you make your world in here. So let's go in here. Uh, 1.20, welcome Miyuki. everyone, right? Said. Meanwhile, me spawns every time in a dark oak forest i'm uh, freaking this oh, place that's it dark oak forest is one with all the mushrooms okay so we're gonna try 1.20 we're gonna set the gaming creative uh we're gonna go ahead and go into data packs this is important go into your data packs right here and you want to enable the experimental bundles and the update 1.20 once you've done that go ahead and Set. hit done Asterisk and then this is the experimental features. Be careful, some of the selected packs require features that are still under development and may crash or break your worlds, right? So you don't wanna you don't want to upgrade any of your existing worlds to one of these experimentals. You just wanna have it a, a brand new world. Once you've done that, go ahead and create your world. It's gonna give you the same warning over again. Go ahead and ignore it. And let's go ahead and make this world. Miyuki said, let's pray that OBS is not gonna crash. Mm hmm Let's go OBS. That's not crash man. I'm not gonna touch anything on the side of my screen We're just gonna let it run And let it load Oops, okay. I was testing something out. Okay, so let's go ahead and disable that Okay, so inside of our world we're gonna notice a couple things uh, one of the little features that were added is the camel. I know right off the bat, this is a nice little feature. So let's go ahead and make a little camel here. I know you guys are gonna want, gonna enjoy this. So inside Minecraft 1.20. Why does the grass look dark? The grass look dark. Does it look dark? I don't have any shader packs on. I'm just, I'm using uh, the default client. Okay, so right now we have the camel egg. So that is one of the new features. What the heck? Okay, so camels are able to get uh, a little bit. So how fast are these guys? Okay, it doesn't seem too fast. I mean, actually it is pretty quick. And they can jump. Oh my goodness, look at that jump. Miyuki. Watch that jump. It defies the law of fence. <laughs> it, it defies the law of fence. Watch this jump right here. So I'm going to build it up. So you, he, he runs out of stamina. But he kind of kicks forward. So that's something that's added in. So you can kind of see he gets really tired there for a minute. But he actually goes fairly quickly. You can go ahead and hit your turbos, and then once you've jumped, even the baby camels are able to get out. Oh yeah, those are, uh... Miyuki. That fence doesn't do Set. anything. He can fly for 0.1 second. Right? Can they jump two blocks high? Now I have to see. Can the camels jump? Two oh my goodness, they're sitting down. That's funny. Oh, he, he has to get up too. That's cool. So I, I yeah, I forgot I'm in creative mode. Wait, yeah, I'm in creative mode. 
Get off the fence line. There. Okay, it, whoop, it looks like they can't get out of the two blocks. So the little camel, it looks like he might be able to jump out of a two block though. So let's see. No, they can't jump out of a two. Okay, so camels are added in Minecraft 1.2. I think that's a really cool addition. In addition to horses, donkeys, mules, pigs, you now have rideable camels. And I believe, yeah, camels are two-seaters. See this right here? You are able to have two people on a camel and the person on the back and a person on the front. Uh, so that that is very cool. So I think that's one of the features right there. Uh, we also have the other item. Miyuki. What was the other one added in? Said, I would rather just lead the camel rather than making more fences to waste resources. Hey, you're not wasting resources. You're keeping him safe. There's a tadpole that was already added in. We should have the other one. What's his name like? Yeah. What was the mod that everybody voted for? I can't think of its name right now. Like the sniffer or something, right? I can't think of the name. Miyuki but I'm pretty sure. Said, Mama, I, I can keep them safe inside my house. Yeah, but then you can't use him. Why would you want to keep him safe inside your house? Okay, so... Where's the guy? Oh yeah, you can have monster spawners. So I think that's kind of nice that you can have spawners now and you can stick an egg inside of it. Um, are they what? Are they not Miyuki here? Said because you said it isn't Stop. safe. Creepers, it's always safe. Man, what's the thing called? Hold on, where is it? Where's my page? Um, uh, bop, 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 bop. What is the uh... sniffer, right? I thought it was called the sniffer. Yeah, sniffer. It's called the sniffer. Where is it? Is it not here? It's not even here. Okay, so give, give unchallenged egg. I just want to see if it's in here but it should be underneath the S's if it was. So it's not even here. Okay, so we don't have access to the sniffer yet. I think that's in another uh, another one. Okay, uh, so we have the camels. That's something that was added in. Now the smithy, this is the thing that was added. Uh, so these are going to be used to upgrade netherite. Um, we'll go through this really quickly. So we have the new smithing table. And the smithing table was upgraded to have an additional portion right here. You can kind of see where, depending on what you put into the to the uh, smithing template, it's going to change some of the options. Like you can't see what is up here. That's because it requires a smithing template there. Once you put the smithing template in that spot, uh, you'll actually be told what this thing needs. Okay, you need to put a piece of armor here and you need to put an ingot or a crystal here. Uh, so you can place any kind of armor. And if you put this one instead right here, watch this, it changes. So now, instead of just placing armor, right? I have to put a piece of diamond armor, a weapon or a tool here. That is because this one here is for netherite upgrade. So this is kind of what we were talking about, how if you want diamond armor to be upgraded to netherite, you have to go find this uh, smithing template to upgrade your netherite armor to get netherite armor from diamond equipment and this can only be found in bastion so uh, right here it talks about where the smithing let's see here what was it it was let's see here so the netherite upgrade smithing template can be found randomly in all bastion remnants chests and there is a guarantee of two in every treasure room bastion. So think about how difficult ultra hardcore is going to be now if all players that are playing hardcore or ultra hardcore have to visit a bastion and they have to 
They, there's no other way to upgrade the netherite outside of visiting a bastion revenant and getting and collecting those chests. And even if you do visit the revenant, uh, you know, there's two guaranteed there, uh, but the other chest outside of that main chest in the treasure room, there's only a 4% chance for these things to drop. So it's a 4% chance that the smithing template will be even there outside of the guaranteed one. So this is going to make it a, uh, like an, another step for hardcore players, for ultra hardcore players to jump to, to actually upgrade their netherite equipment. Uh, so I thought that was an interesting thing. Uh, so let's go back over here and I'm gonna pull the rest of these. And then we'll kind of take a look at some of the trim here. I think it looks really, really cool. Each of these smithing templates can be located in a different part of the world. And not one of them, you know, if you want, if you like a specific style, if you like a specific style, this is the tide one. Miyuki um, said, can Minecraft evolve backwards where I was scared of zombies and build myself a house made out of glass so the zombies wouldn't kill me in hey, creative that's, mode? That's the long time ago. You can't go backwards, Miki. You can't go backwards. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some armor. We'll take a look at diamond armor for now because I want to first enchant it or like um, upgrade it. And then, uh, so here, for example, right? These are all the trims. This one is a netherite upgrade, so I don't need this. But outside of that, we'll go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. Oh yeah. And then we could also have different colors, right? So let's go get the different colors as well. So let's go to, let me go ahead and pull this page up and pull it to my side. We can go ahead and look at Miyuki. all the color options here. Said, okay. I'm still confused. Uh, which part are you confused on, Miyuki? Let me know what part you're confused on and we can take a look at it. Um, because I definitely want to cover if there's any if there's any questions. That's why I wanted to do a live. Because then we could look at it together. This is my very first time um, looking at the snapshot as well. Uh, so I'm just kind of running through it. Same as you guys. And I really, really like it. I think this is an awesome update. Netherite redstone. Miyuki said everything that you said about the nether. Miyuki. The nether. Oh. Said, armor. Miyuki. Okay, I'll show you. Said, we'll, we'll go look at it. I keep forgetting video. Miyuki said my grammar is leaving. Ah, your grammar is leaving. Okay, so here's all the colors of armor that you can have. Okay, I've, uh, I've, let's go ahead and do this, okay? Okay, so there's essentially, we'll do this and this and then get rid of, get rid of the extra pieces, okay? So, okay, so here's basically everything that we're gonna look at here. Uh, we have the new smithing tables right here. Let's do time, set, day. Okay, so we have the smithing table and we can see that it was upgraded, right? Now we have these smithing templates that you can find in different areas of the world. Depending on what type of armor trim you want to have, you're going to want to visit a specific destination in Minecraft, right? Uh, so if we place this armor here, it's gonna, it's gonna ask you to put a piece of armor here and then, you can put the piece of armor here and then on the right, it's gonna ask you to put a ingot or crystal here. Now here's where you have a really nice selection. You have the iron armor. You can kind of see the trim line there is gray because of the gray armor. Uh, then you have the copper. So you have the copper trimming on the diamond. You have the gold trimming. So I think the gold one looks very nice. You can kind of see it's century armor trim. It's a gold material that's kind of embedded inside the diamonds. Then you're gonna have your lapis, which I don't think lapis on blue looks good. <laughs> then you have your quartz, which kind of adds a, a, a white. You have your green, which adds, you know, emeralds. I think that's really nice. I've always wanted to have like an emerald kind of armor. 
you have your netherite for like a darker trim so blue if you have diamond armor uh i honestly you know because netherite ingots are probably going to be more common to have around because you're going to have to collect smithing templates to upgrade your armor to netherite I think more people are gonna have netherite ingots just kind of laying around. So they might have diamond armor with netherite trim. Said, your armor tells what team we're on now. Yeah, that's a really cool idea. So think about this option now in the future where on PVP servers, if you're gonna join a clan or some guild or some team, right? Your team could be like, hey, everybody, we have like, everybody on that team has the eye armor trim so that everybody applies this specific trim and then maybe they put on like red right so they have like this red trim um but you can you can see here right here that depending on what type of smithing template that i'm putting on it changes the trim line up top too you see how the trim right here is changing depending on the uh smithing template that i'm applying on there so if you really like a specific trim then you can kind of just use that trim line so for example i'm just going to go ahead and i'm using the vex armor and the vex armor can be found these are the really really hard ones the vex armor can only be found in the woodland mansion so these these vex smithing templates can only be found in Oh, I didn't upgrade that one, I guess. I didn't upgrade my helmet. Hold on. Well, we gotta do these. We gotta find the right one. This is where it's gonna be an issue. If you just throw anything up there, you're gonna run into issues. So what am I looking for? Vex, and then helmet, and then redstone. Okay, so now, see, this is what this Maybe. is going to look like. So, it looks, it looks kind of weird. So it tells what team you're on and different trim lines are what type of worker are you, warrior, farmer, leader, and etc. Uh, that could be another way to distinguish it. Like, hey, what's your role in the, in the village? What's your role in this town, right? Maybe you're running like a townie or you have a little community. So maybe you have like a specific trim. Uh, I wonder if I could change the trim. Let's go back to this. Oh my goodness. Let's go back to this. Can I... So I was using the Vex. Can I put the Ward one now? And do this with the... Uh, can I change it? Okay, so I can change it. Just because I have it... Okay, so let's go through... Um, I have extra. So what don't I have extra of? Actually, I can just toss all this stuff away. And take this off. And then we have our colors. I feel like I'm missing. Oh yeah, there's the red one. And let's get let's just go with netherite armor. I like the black netherite armor just because everything shows up very nice on the black one. Like the trim shows up super, super nice on this one, I'm sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this again. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll make armor stands. Hold on. Armor stands. Um, whoops. Oh my goodness. I guess this would probably be better if I... Uh... Miyuki said, Like this specific trim lines is farmer while this specific trim lines is for the chieftain or something like that. Yeah. Let me go ahead and do one. Okay, so I'm gonna do this with this. And see, that's the thing. Like there's so many options here, but uh, hold on. We're gonna do this and then we'll start with the silver. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to do this smart. I'm using my brain a little bit right now. So we're gonna do this. I think this looks really cool. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. So that's not like a really bad looking one. And obviously, right, that's with the Vex one. 
you could change it to you know what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the specific color. I'm gonna keep it all the same color, but I'm going to uh, instead just change the trim style because I think that's gonna be easier to kind of keep keep all keeping uh, organized with. Okay, so I'm going to we use the Vex one already, so we're gonna use the eye armor, the eye armor. And then we're going to use stretch trim or maybe green trim. Okay, so now we're now we're making the eye armor. So I think this is kind of cool. It kind of makes me feel like a little bit like Mega Man. If you guys ever played like the Mega Man series. Okay, that's the smithing ones. We're going to go to the Dune armor now. Miyuki said. I'm just gonna use the trim lines on my helmet, thank you very much. Yeah. It makes the armor look like a jacket, which is not a vibe at all. It's not a vibe. I know, that was... That's that specific trim. There's different styles of trim. I already had that. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay, so, hold on. And... Oops, I didn't mean to put it on. It, it's going to get a little bit confusing for me because uh, now I got kind of confused here. <laughs> now the right. And boots. Okay, I guess what I'm going to do. Okay, this is what I was going to do, Miyuki. Um, Miyuki said, the green trim lines looks like it's from a mod. I think they took a lot of inspiration from some mod packs, which is probably a really good idea. Okay, so we're going to look at all the trims up close, okay? So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven trim styles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so there's eleven trim styles, and we're going to make them. Um, like this. We'll get rid of. We'll, we'll keep that for now. Um, bop, 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 bop. I just want to start over because I got confused. I, I honestly, I just want to start over. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have a sign real quick. Oh, they have a hanging sign now. That's new. My goodness. Okay, this is Vex. Vex, this is eye armor, right? Eye armor? Miyuki said, rank them from best to worst. Yeah, we'll do a rank here. We'll do that. Dune armor. This is Dune armor. This is going to be coast. Coast armor. My goodness. Up. Oh. Coast. Post armor. Okay. Let's set this back today. Uh, we had coast armor, then we're gonna go wild armor. Wild armor. Then sentry armor. Sentry armor. And then it's gonna go snout Me, you armor. Said the camel in the back just chilling. Gonna name it Reginald. Renegade. Snout armor. Then we have ward armor. Ooh, you know where that's going to be from? That's going to be a uh, probably a nice one. Tide armor. Tide armor. That one's from the what's it called? Rib armor. Uh, the uh, what are the ocean? Yeah, ocean monuments. I was going to say what are the ocean monuments? Spire armor. Spire armor. Okay. So this are all the different kinds. We're gonna go ahead and make them real quick. That's kind of far away. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make them all uh, green to see the trim kind of stand out from the red. Uh, so we'll start with the Vex armor, Miyuki right? 
said. Oh no, tied armor, somebody give Aquaman's armor back. Someone give him his armor back, right? Okay, so we're gonna make the, this is all Vex armor. So we're gonna put Vex armor on the Vex stand. Okay, this is the Vex armor. And then we're gonna change it to the eye armor. So this is going to be the eye armor. I have to change something in a minute here. Then pants and boots. Whoops, boots up here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, all the Vex armor is right here. Vex, 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 Vex. And then this comes down. And this is all the eye armor. And then this can go away. I kind of want to make a chest to put these things in so that I don't lose them. Because I'm only using the emeralds for this example. I don't, I don't need this, but... And... Once... Okay, what was the one that we just used? What was it? We use So far we used Vex and Eye Armor. Okay, Vex and Eye Armor. So this one, this one. Okay, so we're gonna go Dune. Dune. Okay, so this is going to be the Dune one. And I can see how this is going to be a little bit, I guess because I'm doing so many of them at once, it's going to be a little bit tedious. But I guess once you do it more, right? You're not going to be sitting here and doing this the same uh, coast armor trim. Miyuki we have the coast armor. Said, it looks cool. It does look cool. I think it's going to look really cool. And you're going to have different options, right? You're going to be able to make red trim, green trim, gold trim. You're going to have different options. Okay, so that's the coast. So we have the wild. Now we have the wild. So we'll see what the wild one looks like here. Okay, so let's go put these on the stand. So we have the dune armor, which is going to be right here. Okay, this is all dune. Dune, 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 dune. Dune, 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 dune. And then get rid of it. And then wild, 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 wild. So which one of these is wild? This is wild, 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 wild. And then back to Miyuki. the chest. Coast, coast, Set. coast, coast. Amethyst would fit the netherite along with emeralds too, especially yeah. when it's enchanted. That's true. Enchanted would even make it like another flag. But you can kind of see the design difference between these. And again, you can you can adjust, right? If you like a one specific head style. Like I like this specific head style so far over the other ones. Then you can mix and match. No one's gonna see the difference besides you. So let's go sentry armors next. Uh, so let's go look at the sentry one next. Um, we can do this. Oops, I wanna copy that. Okay, so this is the sentry. Okay, sentry. Okay, we got the sentry one, so we're, oh, we already did the wild one. The wild and sentry is done. Miyuki said, basically the armor is Lego's mix and match outfits. 
Legos mix and match. But I think it's going to be such a cool thing. I, I really do like and Grace Bogaporo said, Taco. Tacos. Taquitos. Como estas, mi amigo? Uh, let's see, Snout Armor. Let's put that back. Then the Ward Armor. You're going to get that from finding the Ward. Locating those, those Deep Darks. I feel like it really makes it look like Mega Man. That's really what I'm getting the vibe here from. Miyuki. And then we have Zed. Ward is done. We I R Y L N. What is up? Welcome into the stream, by the way. My bad. I'm trying not to goof anything up right here. Welcome into the stream. How are you doing today? R L Y N Grace Bogaporo. What's this one? This is Snout. Hello, moderator. Okay, this is Snout. 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 Okay, get rid of the snout. And then this is all ward. Okay, where's the ward? Okay, so that's the ward design. Then this is the sentry, sentry, sentry. Okay, which one of these is sentry? Sentry's right here. Wait, wait, what the heck? The chest? Okay, I do see it. The chest is just very, it's only on the arms. There's nothing on the chest whatsoever. Yeah, there's nothing on the chest whatsoever there. Uh, so that Miyuki. is... Sir, feeling sleepy right now, tied, eh, tied, eh, tied. Eh. You're feeling sleepy? Ah, that kind of looks interesting. Looks, This one looks like a Pokeball on your chest. So we have the rib and the spire. The rib and the spire are the last ones. The rib and the spire. So let's go do the rib, which is right here. And pick that up. So this is the rib. The rib and the spire. And then we have the last one. These are gonna be fine in ancient cities, right? Uh, not ancient cities, yeah. Aren't they ancient cities, like the ones in the end? End cities. They're, they're going to be the end cities. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to do this. Okay, so we have. Boop, 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 boop. This is going to be the rib armor right here. And this is going to be the spire armor. Okay, so these are all the different styles of that you can collect. You have the Vex one. It kind of looks like a tux, right? It almost looks like a tux down the front, like a coat, like a, like a little bit of a coat right there. Uh, you have the eye armor, so it's like a hunter. It almost looks like an eye, right? It's an eye armor. It has an eye in the middle of the chest, kind of like a target. Kind of reminds me of like a hunter. You can see the eyes on top. So like a hunter generally, those little sightseeing eyes up on top, like the halos. Then you have the target in the center of your chest. This is called the Dune Armor. So it looks kind of like maybe like a Phoenix on top of there. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I like the boots though. Boots is kind of nice. Well, they have the little design. The same as on the chest is on the boots. They have the little uh, pyramid baby style on the chest and then also on the knees of his, uh, his pants. Then you have the Coast Armor. So maybe like a Tide. When the tide goes out and it comes back, maybe that's what it's kind of representing is like the tide kind of flowing. And I do like it on the head just because it actually adds a little bit of color outside of that black. It has a band all the way around. So you can see it's one of the it's one of the ones that has a band going all the way around it. I don't care much for the chest itself, but I, I like the headpiece. Uh, this is called the wild armor, which I don't really see anything special. It looks kind of like some of the other ones, just like a pixel more or less. The helmet doesn't look too much different. Um, yeah, it really doesn't look too much different as far as the armor. Sentry armor is the most plain chest armor ever. I don't see a lot of people probably using the sentry armor, but that's gonna be pretty easy to find because it's just in pillager. Uh, it's gonna be in pillager places. 
Uh, the boots look nice. It looks like it has a little bit of black trim to it as well. Then you have your snout armor. Uh, you can definitely see the snout there on the chest plate. And along the boots, you can kind of see like the little pattern maybe from the pigs. But I can definitely see the snout there on the chest. The helmet looks just looks like eyeballs in the side of the snout, like uh, the piglins that you see in the, ne uh, in the nether, yeah. They just kind of look like eyes in the side. You're gonna have your wild armor. That's obviously the warden. You can see the warden head right here, along with the ears on the, on the sides of the head. Uh, the helmet kind of reminds me of this coast armor helmet. It just has a couple extra pixels put in there, but overall I see the warden, and that's where you're gonna be able to find the ward armor. You have the tide armor, which these are gonna be in the sea monuments. Um, tide. What was the other one? Coast. Okay, so there's coast and tide. Uh, maybe when you do have two tides, tides colliding, like when they're kind of going together, it kind of makes that pattern on their uh, on their pants, chest, and on the helmet a bit. Rib armor. This really does have a dark, a dark tint to it. Unlike the other ones, like the very light green, and stands out. This rib armor. Is pretty dark overall and then you have your spire armor I don't know where that one's from that might be uh, where is the spire armor from Wait, how do I um... huh okay let's see here where is the spire armor from spire is going to be from the end cities oh that's right it's from the spire like at the top of the spiral 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 spire is it spire or spiral uh but at the top of the end cities is where you're going to find this one so i think the end city ones will probably be pretty common just because in the end a lot of servers do not lock down the end and you know, when you're flying through with an elytra, you're gonna find a lot of end cities and a lot of these places are gonna have a chest that's gonna have like a guaranteed smithing, a smithing template inside of it. So out of all of these to locating them, uh, so you're gonna find, you're gonna find some, the sentry armor at the pillager outpost, the dune armor in the desert pyramid, the coast armor at shipwreck. So. I feel like coast armor is going to be pretty popular because shipwrecks are kind of pretty easy to just kind of fly along the oceans, locate some coast, uh, like a shipwreck. And generally every shipwreck is going to have at a minimum, like one or two, uh, trims. Your jungle tempers are going to be really hard to find the wild armor. Uh, wild armor is going to be from your jungle temples. Sentry armor? Where's Sentry? What was that one? Sentry? That was from Pillagers. I don't think that's going to be as common because Pillager Outpost, you might fight on a normal server with like a 10,000 block radius. There might be like four or five Sentry uh, Pillager Outposts, maybe more, but they're not going to be too common. So I don't see them being very, you know, if, if they appear on your server, that's going to be pretty pop populated or uh, traded amongst people snout armor is from bastions i think those nobody really locks down the nether like in all the servers that i've made and played on uh generally it's just the overworld that is locked down as far as world border the nether is generally not locked down too often and the end is not generally locked down right can you imagine flying in the end and then you hit a world border and boom now you're out there lost in some pitch darkness black void and you don't know where you came from because it's just pitch black all around you so now you kind of get combobulated trying to figure out if you're going up down sideways left right uh so i feel like uh that's gonna be a little bit hard to lock down ward armor obviously that's from ancient cities tide armor is from we just said that the ocean monuments rib armor is from nether fortresses so i think nether fortresses is going to be another pretty popular one 
and then you have your spire armor. Uh, so Miyuki, Miyuki, you were talking about uh, upgrading netherite armor, right? Where do we get these smithing templates, right? So that's going to be flint. Let's see if we can find these in the wild. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a portal real quick. And we should be able to locate a, a uh, bastion. So I think that's where we're gonna be able to find the netherite are going to be located in bastion. So we're gonna do a locate uh, biome. Bastion, right? Bastion, nope. It's going to be a structure. Bastion remnants, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Bastion remnants. So we got a TP. Miyuki. Two thirty-two. I fell asleep. You fell asleep. We'll go back and check these uh, armors out here shortly, but I don't know if you saw all the armors. Okay, so. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so you were talking about how is netherite going to be acquired in 1.20, right? Well, in hardcore, ultra hardcore, you're going to have to find your way into a bastion remnant like this, right? Then you're going to have to find all the chests. Now, I do have a data pack here that allows me to just go through and x-ray the place. So for this demonstration, we're going to be using this to kind of x-ray and look through and try and locate, what's it called? The chest. I'm looking for Miyuki. more chests. Let's go Set. game mode. The anime piglins have outfits now. Carrot, carrot. What? The, the anime, but hold on, what'd you say? The anime piglins have have outfits now. Wait, is there no more chests here? Where the heck's the chest? And that guy's up here like fire. He's on fire. Oh wait, is that a chest? That may have been one I already opened. Yeah, that was one I already opened. Yeah, I don't see any more chests here. Oh wait, there's one. Um, yeah, that's a pattern. Okay, so that's a pattern. So unfortunately, let's see if there's any more chests here. So yeah, as you can see, not every Bastion Remnant is going to have chests. Miyuki said, chests mm. are hidden, Unchi. They don't like you. I know, for real, right? I wish I could do like a next Bastion Remnant. I'm just gonna fly through here and see if I can find another a bastion revenant thing a bastion here because i i want to find like the big castle ones let's do another locate here is that the same one i went to before yeah it was okay let's just do tp a thousand thousand and let's do another one okay so tp 496 592 Okay So let's see if this one's better Let's see if this is better And nope, we don't have any there Okay, so I'm hoping that I can find One that actually has the smithing templates, but I don't know if the smithing templates are in the game then uh, Is that a chest down there? Let me see here there's a chest right Miyuki here. Said, your Steve is suffering going through the walls in your eyes. You're going through them. In I Steve's am. eyes, he's suffocating to death. What's this block right here? Magma? Yeah, magma block. Um, I am never suffocating. Steve is God mode. I am playing God mode right now. Why can't I fly through here? There we go. Whoops. Okay, so you can see if uh, these remnants are not, these like the smithing templates are not going to be easy to find. 
uh, in bastions uh, for to even upgrade netherite, right? It's going to be really, really hard on a server to get netherite armor. Because that's another one I didn't see down here. Let me go through here. Unless I did see this one and haven't broken it. Yuki said, the player is god mode. Steve the is screaming player. in agony. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, I was reading a book called The Inner Voice. I posted it in the Discord server. Uh, it's about your inside voice in your head. The inside voice in your head. Did you see that link I posted in the chat on the Discord? Or is my Discord? Uh, right here. Whoops, I just did a whole bunch of stuff. Um, where is it? This right here, it's called the untethered soul. Have you guys heard of it before? It basically talks about the voice inside of our heads. So right now, inside your head, you can say, hello. Like, just think it inside your head. Hello, hello, hello. And you can have discussions with the voice inside your head. You ever like lost, you ever lost something? And you're like, man, where did I put that? And the little voice in your head's like, hey, you put this over by the TV. So it talks about the inside voice and you are not the person inside your head. You are just a person who listens and observes the person inside your head. And then you can choose to either listen to the suggestions or decide otherwise, right? The, the person inside your head is going to do some weird suggestions sometimes. It's your, uh, it's your, I don't know what the, like it's I mean, your you decision to kind of said, do it or yes or no. What if the zombies are Steve's death? Like every time you die with Steve, that death becomes a zombie and that's why the zombies have Steve's clothes because the zombies are definitely not villagers. Right? That is weird. Like why, who, where are these zombies coming from? Like who are they? Zombies, where do they come from? What's the backstory? I wish Minecraft added more backstory to the game, like a story mode. Like what happened in the world that caused uh, this is this is gonna be horrible. What was another place I could find these at? Shipwrecks. Uh, let's do TP. Negative one thousand. Negative one thousand. Miyuki said, "I wish that too." So TP negative one three seven six one six three two. Yeah, some more backstory would be awesome. Okay, so I'm hoping I could find like a pretty popular Miyuki one. Miyuki said, what happened to Reginald? Reginald? Is there something else that I should be looking for? Bastion Revenants are the ones that I'm, I'm thinking of here, right? There's nothing else that I'm ruined portal. No, uh, it's me. Yeah, that's it. Sit. Fashion remnants. Reginald the camel. Oh, he's back there. He's back at wherever we started at. We can just die and get back to our spot. I'm looking for the dang chest here. Hold on. Game mode. Spectator. Okay, so where is the chest? This is a bastion right here. Oh, uh, Bastion Remnant, yeah. But I don't see any chests anywhere. Oh, I see a chest right there. Miyuki said, Reginald's waiting for his chicken nuggies. Yeah, I don't think they added the, the smithing templates yet in the game. That's why I'm not able to find them, or I'm just having super, super bad luck. Yeah, nothing in there either. Um, okay. It said you should have like a 100% chance to find them, but that is not the case. Okay, so let's just go ahead and kill on challenge. Boom. Ah, okay. Time set day. Bed.
Okay, we're gonna do nameplate, name tag, and anvil. Ba -da -da -da. Renegold. Bam. Maybe Renegold the second. Oh my goodness. Wow, that used to be the baby right there. Never mind. I flip flopped them. You're the baby. That was the baby. I crisscrossed them. And you're the parent. There we go. Uh, so where else are we gonna go? Let's locate structure. Uh, end city, right? No, not end city. What's it called? Let's go to shipwreck. I just want to see if these things. I don't think they're in the in the game yet. Where is the shipwreck here? Uh, shipwreck. Whoops, -a Daisy. So I don't think the smithing templates are in the game yet. Yeah. And there's another chest over that way. I feel like X-ray makes it even harder. Mandine on some leather pants. Yeah. Okay, so let's go locate. Structure stronghold two four six four eleven twenty game mode spectator. Okay, let's go to the end and go to one of the end cities because I don't think I could TPA TP to the end. Miyuki city. said, or the resources just hate you, Unchi. They do. I might have like a horrible, horrible luck. I might just have horrible, horrible luck. Um, ba -ba 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 I, I a vendor. In effect, give Unchi. No, it's not effect. It's um, attribute. Attribute, unchallenge, attack power, attack damage, base, set, over 10 billion. We're gonna go one punch man, the ender dragon. Oh my goodness. Let's turn this off. We're gonna one punch man, the ender dragon came. Where is he? Where is he? Let's one punch man the ender dragon because I just want to get. Come here, little ender dragon. Boop. Boop. Punched him. Guys, guys, guys. I beat the ender dragon in a single hit. What? What happened? What happened there? What happened? Show me where my money is. Okay, where is this portal? All that experience. All the experience is mine. Okay, where's the portal? It's over here. So I can actually just go into here and then do a locate structure and city in TP 48 13 28. I could have just done that. Yeah, I'm trying to see if. If I can find one of the smithing templates on one of these things. Miyuki and I assume said you type no you. No you. What oh, there it is. Oh I didn't mean to sm oh yeah, yeah, there we go. So this is how you're gonna be able to find these smithing templates. So I guess I just had really, 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 really bad luck inside of the bastions in the nether. You can see how many bastions that I went to. I think I went to three different bastions. Um, 
in the nether, right? I went to three different bastions, three or four bastions in the nether, never came across the smithing template, never came across uh, any of that stuff. But here I go to the very first end city tower and this is what you'll get right here. You're gonna get a smithing template and it's gonna be a specific trim. So in this example, it's the Spire Armor Trim. So we're gonna take this and we're wanting to collect four of these, right? For each piece of armor that you wanna do. Uh, they also have some diamond armor in here and you can also collect that gold and stuff for your trimming. So let's go ahead and do that. Said, it's so rare that Unchi had bad luck. It is so rare, not really. It's not really that rare. Uh, let's do another locate. PP 656, 1328. Okay. This, okay, that doesn't have a dragon one either. There's no way to predict which one of these end cities will actually have a dragon in them. Uh, this, this end city doesn't have anything, period. Does, does it even have any loot? Boom, get out of my way. Be like Superman. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, this end city had absolute garbage. I wish I could blow this whole thing up because that is garbage, hot garbage. Uh, let's go to, actually, let's go negative, negative. Oops, that's not right. Negative 1000 and then to another locate structure tp negative 944 negative 1520 so they okay this is one with the ship right there should be a ship yeah no there's no ship here okay but there at least there's treasure here i'm hoping uh we can enable i can actually see where the treasures are at Treasure chest, where are you at? Treasure chest. Okay, so these should have treasure chests in them. Most people go to the end cities just to kind of get the shulker boxes. Miyuki said, wow. if you miss flying in creative mode but don't want to switch to creative mode since you're a hardcore survivalist, just go to the end city and get hit by the shulker. It'll ah. make you fly for free. It'll make you Miyuki fly for free. Said. The payment is your life. Yeah, right. Wow, this end city doesn't have loot whatsoever. Not a single chest in sight. Generally, they have some sort of loot. They usually have a loot thing down here. But that's weird. They don't have any chests in the end city. Well, that's weird. Yeah, see, I don't see a single chest. Unless my X-ray blocks it, but yeah, I'm playing on single player, so there's nothing that would not be seen. Oh, huh, okay. TP, let's add a one onto there and a one onto there. And then let's do a locate in TP negative. Two, seven, eight, four. But I mean, I did Maybe find one. Said. Anchi needs dreams luck. Dude. Or he just creates it. I think a lot of his stuff is staged. Man, that is, uh, wow. That is, uh, wow. I wish I could do like a next. Like a next one. Miyuki. What's that? Staged but entertaining. Yeah, it's all staged. It is. It's like, oh, look what I did in half a second, dude. He's gonna be the next fighter. Okay, so this one. Ah, this one has a ship. Okay, this one for sure has loot, right? This one has the Elytra. Let's bust in the door like Chucky. Yo, what's up, everybody? Punched. Oh my goodness. Look what he made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Okay. Miyuki 
said. Yeah, this one doesn't have a... Though I do think that some of it is staged while some are not. Uh, at, at his lives. Like, I don't think he ever went live, right? Did he ever go live? He may have went live. Uh, unless he does stuff live. I don't take anything for, for value. Like, uh... Unless I see somebody do it live. I, I don't... Or like a live recording of it. It's all it's all giggles. Hey buddy. Uh, let's see here in okay, case. So I already went through those. Go look over here. Okay, so you can see how rare these smithing templates are. Right? Miyuki. You can see how rare they are. Sir, I didn't know you're a fan of Taylor Swift Unchi. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Ooh. That's probably one of her more catchy songs. I like that one because it's super catchy. The beat's super catchy and like the theme of it. She has a whole bunch of Taylor Swifts on her. You know, like which one's the real one? Like which persona is her? Like she changes her persona all the time from her original. Like all the singers do that. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's no more chess here. So of all the end cities that we've been to so far, we've only found one of them. So I think it's just super, super rare. I think that's what it's gonna be. Like it's gonna be a very, very hard thing to do. Is this one that I've been to? No, I haven't been here yet because I destroyed all the chests. It's going to be a really, really hard thing to find. Look at this one. That's super nice. So many diamonds. So many diamonds in that one. And, but no, uh, no. None of these smithing templates. So these smithing templates are going to be super, super rare. Uh, I think people are going to be adding them into the game as like, hey, if you become a subscriber, you get your own box of xyz like hey become a subscriber today Maybe. on the channel become a youtube member Said, and on i feel our like the real taylor swift server. is the one who wrote the song the persona is shown in the music video from old music videos but not her writer self yeah i don't think she writes her own music anymore though i think she writes some of her music but i don't think she writes most of it like a lot of it like there was the one singer who got sued for stealing somebody's song but they didn't even know because all it was is like hey somebody handed them a script they went to the studio they got tuned in they sang the song the lyrics and they just did it over and over and miyuki. over enough that they kind of remembered it oh she doesn't dash miyuki said oh oh op okay so let's go um let's go back to the overworld can i can i go back to overworld world EP world. Miyuki. I think I just have to Set. die. Reginald. Delete. No, death. Kill. Kill on challenge. Kill on challenge. Okay. Miyuki. The locate structure. Reginald is still waiting for his food. Oh, that's true. Poor guy. Desert pyramid. Ooh, there's not a single... Oh, yeah, there's the desert pyramid. Let's feed this guy. Does does the camel eat wheat? That's the question of tonight. Does the camel eat wheat? What food does he eat? What food do they eat? Because they're not, they're not eating. Do they give him carrots? Miyuki. Like Set. even horses. If it I eats hold humans. Does he eat humans? Spawn human. You have unchallenged human baby. I want an egg baby, please. Like a villager. Let's give him a villager. <laughs> villager. Village. Eat the baby egg. Miyuki. Sit. No. Let Reginald eat you, Unchi. No. Poor little guy. I don't think he even fights back. Game mode, survival. Do they spit? 
Do they spit? No. No, they don't spit. Camels are a very, very nice creature. Oh, I'm, I'm in normal mode. I was like, why can't I fly? Fly. Game mode, creative, and let's TP to that thing. TP, Miyuki. three, Set. two, four. Their eight. bodies are having seizures. Yeah, they're, I think their animations probably aren't done all the way yet. Okay, so there should be a, what was it? A desert pyramid, right? There should, should be a desert pyramid here. Wait, is that? Oh, that's it right here. Miyuki said, man, I'm lonely again in this stream. Sad right? face. Oh, it's Wednesday. Miyuki. Oh my goodness, Set. I didn't mean to do that. Where did Stormy go? Was Stormy here earlier? Whoa. Oh my goodness, I'm so dumb. I am dumb. I forgot all about that. Yes, I forgot all about that. Everything got blown up. Everything got blown up right there. Wait, not that. I wanted to locate the desert pyramid. Two, eight, four, eight, one, seven, four, four. Yeah, I'm dumb. I didn't disable Miyuki TNT. Said the one rule that everybody knows, Anchi forgets. <laughs> hey, I'm just flying through here, zooming, zooming. I'm just zoom, zooming. Right? It's like the number one rule whenever entering a pyramid. Never fall straight in the middle of me. YOLO! Okay, I think this is it right here. Right, uh, there it is. See? See right here. And then we want to disable. Disable the TNT because I actually want to look inside the chest. Okay, click. Ah, here we go. Dune. So there's a Dune armor template. Okay, so Miyuki there's one. Said, this Minecraft world should be called Clear Blocks. Clear Blocks. I'm only using this because uh, it allows me to kind of see all the chests a lot faster. On general stuff, I, I won't be able to use this. Like I don't use X-Ray at all. In any of my hardcore series, if I try and log on to a server, I can't log on to a server because the snapshots uh, don't allow for it. Uh, so the only other thing that I we haven't tried, like we've gone through the armor trims, we've looked at the different trim styles, uh, we've talked about the smithing templates, but we haven't actually done and upgraded a diamond armor to a netherite dormer so i think maybe we'll try we'll show how that is so let's kill and challenge let's go back to spawn let's go ahead and set uh time set day whoops okay oh my goodness third time's a charm there we go and then let's turn off the shader uh resource pack And then what do we want to do? Oh, upgrade armor. So say we have full diamond gear, right? Say we have this full diamond gear. Let's go ahead and do this. We want the four of these. And let's go ahead and of all the armors that are out there, I kind of like the Dune armor. Miyuki. I actually like the eye Set. armor. So I destroy everything except Reginald. Destroy everything. Kill all. Uh, let's do. What color looks really good on diamond? What color do you think looks really good on diamond armor? Maybe like a gold trim would be nice, or purple. What do you think? Amnesty? I think the Amnesty Shard is going to look nice. So, for example, right? You've been in your Minecraft world for a while now. 
You've been in your Minecraft world for a I mean, while now. Said. Green or gold? Green or gold? Ugh. Oh my goodness. Somebody hit me with a car. Do it. Ah. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do green. Green or gold diamond. Wait, I could just do this. Emerald, emerald. And gold. Let's see what it looks like here. I don't know if I like the purple. I mean, I I, uh, I need the uh, high armor. I. Okay, let's do this thing again. So. Okay, this is the gold one. I feel like it doesn't stand out too much. I don't know, it just makes me feel weird. It just looks... It makes me look like I have, like, um, like moths growing on my armor. Kind of. It looks kind of like mossy, right? So let's try the gold trim. Let's go back. Uh, let's just put this back up on there, and let's try gold. Come on, copy. And gold, 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 gold. I think the gold trim is going to be where it's at. Oh, on this. I don't think that looks bad. Miyuki said, kind of having a toxic relationship with the diamond with emeralds trim <laughs> things. Yeah, I don't know what armor is going to look good. I think it's just the armor style. I think it just looks horrible. I think I might go with the wild or the snout. It might look different with snout. I think that's what it, I think that's what my problem is. I think it's just I think it's just the the pattern looks ugly. I don't think maybe that the trim itself is ugly. Let's do this. I think, yeah, I think it's just a trim. Hmm, whoops. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, that's, that's gold. I mean, I think blue is really hard to go with anything. I actually didn't mind the purple in comparison to this. Did we try the green already? Yeah, it looked really mossy on me. What other colors do we have? Red or white? Red or white? Uh, let's just go with this. Let's go red. I think red Miyuki goes well with anything. Said. Maybe iron since it's white. Miyuki. Said. This just looks like I have blood Look stains on my armor. Say, hey, cool, man. I got blood stains all over my armor. I've been in a whole bunch of battles. I look like a very distinguished fighter. And then if we enchant it. Um, so you're going to be able to have all this armor and then enchant, enchant, unchallenged protection, protection four. Miyuki okay. said, you look like Iron Man that's got from Wish. Oh, hey, that's a really, really good idea. Watch this. Wait, you said from Wish? You said from Wish? New subscriber! Hey, what is up, Doctor? Doctor Tudor is welcome into the stream. Welcome into the crew of Unchies. Right now, we're testing out the 1.20 features, which I think is really, really cool. This is going to be definitely one of my favorite updates outside of the 1.17. But welcome into the stream. I do appreciate to subscribe. If you have any comments, questions at any time, let me know in the chat or in the comment section of this video. Um, if you ever watch any of my content, drop a Miyuki comment on anything. Said, welcome Dr. Dr. Tudors. Tudors. Welcome to our tiny community. Smiley our tiny face. tiny community. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Iron Man. You gave me the idea 
of either like this is either going to be like the reverse flash or iron man who do i look like more iron man or the reverse flash um i think i'm gonna have to try different armor type see i can also try i can also change the trim hold on let me look up iron man real quick iron man armor and then go images so he has like a red on his face says, jollibee 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 and there's nothing with a red on his face oh the circle on his chest could be the eye armor chest um yeah it could either it could either be like the eye or the dune armor Miyuki said I'm gonna go coast search Jollibee 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 Miyuki oh said, this you look like that I look like a Jollibee what the heck is this this reminds me of KFC it, it basically looks like KFC it looks like KFC or Popeyes look at this Popeyes Popeyes. Eh, the colors are off, but it's basically the same thing. Look, Jollibee's right here. Jollibee. It's just KFC and Popeyes. Miyuki said it's a Philippines fast food restaurant. Uh, it, it must be. I think it's probably like um, a subsidiary of KFC. Kind of feels like it. Um, I want to try a different head. I want to do coast head. So coast and I want to try uh, snout so this is where you can kind of mix and match now right if you don't if you want to change something because the design this is where you can go in here and be like okay I want the coast dimly said I want the coast took me a long head. time to find a stream that isn't just spam or extremely low quality Hey, what's up, Dimly? Welcome into the stream. Right now, we're checking out 1.20. Uh, I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Miyuki what's... said, Welcome, Dimly. Smiley face. What am I doing wrong here? Now, armor. Oh, it already has now. Wait, what did I do? Did I already upgrade it? See that? Oh, it's the snout on the chest that I was trying to do. What's the chest? So oh, it is chest. The Dimly snout. said, "Turtle shells work too." BTW. Oh, turtle shells too. Let's see what that was gonna look like. Turtle shell. I wish they had a better green armor, like a better armor for green. Oh yeah, they have that little effect. Um. That would be interesting, but I want to see it. Let's do a spire on it. Spire. Spire. Because I feel like this is going to be a little bit more noticeable. Oh, I look like an army guy, like a combat veteran. Like, hey, I'm a medical, the medic Set. in the field. Anchi is going to become a teenage mutant ninja turtles. Oh my goodness. Now I'm going to be Iron Man gonna be Iron Man hold on I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my chest where is it um, I want eye armor on my chest I on my chest so I chest red boom yeah but the helmet the turtle helmet <laughs> The turtle helmet just makes you, it literally looks. I have I have an army helmet in my garage. It has like the the halo around it still, and everything. Dimly, but so, this is interesting. Tony Stark, is yeah. that you? <laughs> That's what I was going for. I was going for the Iron Man vibe. Time set day. Yeah, but I think this update. So. Uh, if you guys are just joining in for the very first time, or just, you know, Miyuki. in the stream right now, right now we're going Set. through the 1.20 Looks like Jollibee to me. Jollibee. 
but Minecraft has recently released this new 1.20 update, uh, which we kind of went over a little bit earlier, their changes. Uh, they're adding a whole bunch of features. They're making it different. So we'll talk about really quickly about their changes. Number one, enchants are going to look a little bit different on items and armor is going to be a little bit more subtle versus like super bright from across the screen. You're not going to see them glowing in the dark from across like, you know, nighttime. Uh, they're also changing the way that the smithing table operates. When you click on the smithing table now, uh, you're going to have an additional feature in there. And this is going to be for the smithing templates. These are going to be needed in everything that you do inside of the smithing table. Uh, from upgrading your diamond armor to netherite to adding uh, armor trims to your armor. So and I think the main thing that's going to affect I mean, a lot can... of hardcore Set. and ha ultra hardcore how do players. You upgrade, though? Okay, so this is how you upgrade, right? So you're going to have to go into these bastions. So all, all players, hardcore, normal, ultra hardcore, they're going to have to go into the nether and look for the bastion remnants. Inside of these bastion remnants, uh, they kind of talk a little bit about it right here. Uh, where is it? Right here. Netherite equipment. Netherite equipment. You're going to have to get these netherite upgrade smithing templates, which can only be found randomly in Bastion Remnants. So that means all players are going to be fighting to find Bastion Remnants. And there's a guarantee of two in every treasure room Bastion Remnant. Um, but, so netherite armor is going to be very very hard to acquire for all players in the server now in order to upgrade it you're going to go ahead and have your smithing table have your diamond armor ready go ahead and place the smithing template first because right now that this this thing doesn't work you can't place anything here because your your smithing table doesn't know what you want to do uh, as soon as you put one of these netherite upgrades here it asks you to put a diamond weapon armor or tool so you go ahead and place the armor uh, the tool there uh, i need i need the nether ingot so let's go get the nether ingot okay so you're gonna do this you're gonna need your you're, you're gonna need at least a, a whole bunch of these right miyuki said <sighs> basically mojave said you have to have dreams real luck to get your netherite armor you are going to have to have really really good luck uh Remember, you have a sword, axe, uh, regular axe, oh wait, sword, axe, pickaxe, shovel, um, how many tools are there? Hold on. How many? So, I mean, you have your Dimmer. shovel. Said. A one, two, three, Finally, four. netherite obtainment got nerfed. Yeah, netherite obtainment got nerfed hard hard it's going to be really really rare to see people in netherite in servers that have started in 1.20 or higher so again you have to go to a bastion in your world you have to fight to find a bastion then find and locate one of these smithing templates that has the netherite upgrade then you're going to place your diamond armor in there and you're going to place your netherite ingot there once you've done that boom then only then will you have the netherite helmet. But again, we went to four Bastion Remnants and we looked at every single chest at a Bastion Remnant. We didn't find a single one of these. So it is going to be very, very Maybe. hard on servers Set. running 1.2 or higher. Good because I like diamond better. When it comes to looks not enchanted, netherite looks pretty when enchanted though. Uh, what was I doing? Yeah, see, we, we lost a little, uh, let's go see what this looks like now with the red. The red trim looks nice though. I feel like the trim on the red, where is it? Oh, it's on the side of the head. I can't, I can't see the side of my head. How, how, how do I do this? Um, so I like the spire helmet, so I can go spire, but you can always find these tablets. You can trade them. I think that's going to have a lot of, uh, it's going to open up a lot of options for players too, that are wanting like a specific trim. 
they're gonna be like, hey, I have a spire armor trim. Does anybody have this other style of trim? So then, boom, they're hot swappable. If you don't like a specific one, if you wanna try a different one, then you can swap it to another trim. But uh, there's 13 different styles in total but you can mix and match them, right? So there's over 2,000 different options between all the armors, all the different smithing styles, and the combinations of flip-flopping one out of Said, four of these Still different waiting ones. the day that Minecraft will add chairs. Dimly. Said. Also an FYI, the enchant glint is now more subtle. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. You can barely see the enchantment glint. Uh, there was that time where if you if it was nighttime, like time set night, it would be like middle of the night, pitch black, pitch black outside, and you'd see some guy from way over on top of the hill over there. You'd see him like bright and full enchanted armor, you know, running across the hills. And he would stand out like a sore thumb because of that bright enchanted color. I, I really think that this netherite armor is going to look really, really nice with different trim lines, like different styles of trim. Like, uh, let's do core, uh, quartz. Um, let's just do this. I think it's going to look interesting. Like that, that looks, I mean, this is quartz, I don't know. Or blue, let's do lapis. I don't know if I like the quartz on there. People are going to be having fits over, it looks really, really nice unenchanted, and then they're gonna enchant it, and they're gonna be like, oh my God, that looks horrible. Cause it looked good when it wasn't enchanted, and then I enchanted it, and then it looks horrible. Yeah, it doesn't, you, you, when you enchant your armor, like the, the halo effect kind of really doesn't, like the the trims don't stand out a whole lot. I think, um, oh wait, I need to take it off again. Uh, bah, 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 what was it in this one? And we're gonna go with, what was it? Gold. Oh, that Just looks nice. Said. Is there a download to the 1.20 data pack so I can add it to my Aterno server? Aterno server? Um, there is a jar file, yes. So, if Dimly. you click, let me see here. Said. Yeah, you just need the jar. Yeah, right here. Here's the jar file right here. Get the snapshot. So I'll post this link right here. Okay, so if you go to that link right there that I just posted in the in the stream, in the chat, I think it posted over there. Yes, it posted over Awesome Possum. Uh, if you head to that link, you're gonna arrive on this page. All you're going to want to do is slide down towards the very, very bottom, locate the cross-platform server jar, go ahead and click on that, and then download it to wherever you need to download it to and then upgrade your server. Like if I wanted to make a server right now with it, um, I could probably do that, but um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That's gonna take a little bit. Me, the dang launcher hates you. Said, this dang launcher hates me, a, 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 a. But this looks, I actually like the gold. Just, I think said, this is going to look nice. Okay, TYSM dude for the help. Hey, not a problem. Yeah, for sure. I, I do like the gold trim. I think the spire helmet, like the the helmet piece is going to definitely need to change. Like the tide. I like the tied one for the helmet. It kind of makes it get yeah, tied. I need the helmet, huh? Let's get the helmet. Let's Miyuki. go tied, helmet, Set. gold. Oh, the gold looks so good, carrot, carrot. Yeah, the gold looks really nice with the netherite armor. So I think the gold one's gonna be pretty popular. And then instead of the chest being, it looks, you know, the chest is a snout. So instead of the chest being like a snout, I might make it 
Um, like I like either like the coast or the wild. The coast or the wild looks kind of nice. Or yeah, I think the coast. Let's do coast. So you're gonna definitely have options. So I think a good idea is to do this in creative mode. Like, hey, find out what option, what you like first and then do it in creative mode. And then once you've decided on how you wanna have your trim, boom, go into your actual server, what you're playing on, collect the trim or trade for the trim. But I feel like I look like a Pharaoh right now, right? I have like the little, the snake and the eagle, I think they are. It kind of looks like the snake and the eagle kind of uh, on my trim line. And then I have like the nice, it feels like the Egyptian style chest and arms and then my pants. Um, like the spire pants are different, a little bit different. So if I want to do this to spire, I go over here, do uh, I need the pants. Give me my pants, pants, and then gold. Oops, this one. Uh, okay, maybe I didn't like that. That's weird. It looks different than the guy behind me. Oh, it's a combination of boots and pants together. It's that combination of the boots and the pants together that kind of give it that checkered kind of feeling. So I'd have to get the boots as well. Miyuki said, it doesn't want to install the latest version of Minecraft so I can visit the old server. It just keeps Oops. saying error occurred. Yeah, Dylan that's what was happening to me. Said, so I think their server. Do netherite and amethyst. Netherite and amethyst. Amethyst. Let's get the shard. It should be. Did I see it? Where is the shard? I hear it is. Okay. And then we'll just do the trim line there. Uh, let's do the spire armor. Spire. Let's do full spire armor on this netherite armor. Okay, so we'll go spire. Netherite and then amethyst. Oh yeah, that looks that looks like it kind of like gives it like an additional glow. On top of the enchant glow, it just kind of gives it like a subtle pop. It almost makes it look a little bit more like a pop. It kind of it kind of makes it look nice. Let's see what's on the back. It definitely makes it stand out. Like it kind of makes the, um, I think this is why they lower the enchant to be become more subtle is because if people do run with like the purple trim, if your enchant was really, really bright, it would probably counteract the trim line of this. Cause I feel like the current trim almost looks like uh, what the other old trim, uh, the old enchant kind of style was. It was a little bit brighter like that. So I do like that tide. Tide on the chest. Let's do that on the chest plate real quick. But yeah, this is really fun. And this is kind of nice because you can just kind of flip flop between these. And you have, you're gonna have your netherite sword. Enchant, unchallenge, sharpness five. Dimly, and then shield. said. Also, I really like the TDS chat feature. Makes it seem like you're actually talking to us. How's you manage to do it? Um, I do it with a speech chat. So I have a program right here called Speech Chat. So this is the little thing. It's a website. You log into it with your Twitch or YouTube stuff right here. And then everything I can, I can read all the comments on here. I can go into the speech chat right here and I can adjust the voice. I can change the voice styles or pause speech. Um, I can pause it, turn it off. I can ban specific words or make specific user groups. So it's pretty, it's a pretty nice little feature, but I really, really like it because I never miss a comment that way. I could be focused on the game 
and I won't feel like I'm missing somebody talking to me on YouTube or on Twitch uh, because I'm gonna be able to hear every single comment and then be able to respond to their question as if they're talking to me. So I really like that feature as well. And Dimly said, all right, awesome. Does it work for YouTube? Yeah, it works YouTube for YouTube as well. Said, man, <laughs> Just this launcher really hates me. Uh, Dimly said, just realized this is YouTube and MAO. <laughs> Dimly Lamo. said, uh, what goes I on forgot. Here? Mending. What else goes on shield? What other enchants can go on the shield? Um, I'm breaking, right? I'm breaking. I'm breaking three. Okay, yeah. So this is what a fully. This is what a fully, you know, armored up guy is going to look like coming at you. Fully armored up with enchanted gear, shield, weapons, armor. It's going to look really nice. I think this is going to look really, really nice. I think I'm going to go back to that gold trim. Where's my gold? Did I toss all the gold out? Or lapis? Did I ever try lapis? I may have tried lapis. I don't remember if I tried lapis or not. What are some of the other colors? Copper? I'm going to try copper real quick. Uh, I, I probably I don't I don't think I like that. I don't know if I like that or not. It just looks pink. Or yeah, it looks pink. It looks like a pink. It doesn't even look copper with the enchant. It just looks pink. Yeah, I don't I don't like the pink color. Okay, so not copper. Um. Bup, 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 bup. Or netherite on netherite. What's netherite? I think that's probably just gonna null it out. Let's go back to here. Netherite? No, not that. That. All right. Your item cannot be upgraded this way. Oh, it thinks I'm trying to upgrade my armor. I see. Okay, so I think I already had tried the blue then. I mean, that looks nice. I think all the trims are gonna be really nice. I think you're gonna see a lot of people using different options of trim. I think you're gonna see a lot of players trading between one another. Like as you get, as you start off, right, you're going to be focused on maybe going for shipwrecks, coming across a, a sand pyramid or something along those lines. And then Maybe as you, you get better gear, hmm. I think the blue looks nice. I think it doesn't look bad. I definitely like the green, the green. I think the green makes it feel like the, the green ranger, like the green power ranger. Um, Hey, I think the green is going to make it feel like the Power Ranger. What's Mega Man look like? Hold on. Uh, Mega Man. Miyuki said, didn't you want to see my builds dash? Mega Man. Oh, Mega Man is like blue. But Mega Man is like blue on blue. So that's, I don't think it's going to look as good. Or maybe it could be like red trim on the top. Uh, so I don't even see. I see red right here. Miyuki said, "Mega Mind." Mega Man. Mega Man. Never heard of Mega Man. Okay, so that that that. You don't look like Mega Man. Miyuki. Mega said, Man, a funny. No robot. Mega Mind. Mega mine. See with the helmet. Okay. So the helmet. I think the helmet might have to be dune. Like a dune on the helmet will look the best. Because then you get that stripe down the down the middle. So dune, stripe, blue, boom. Let's 
See? That's perfect. I just look just like them now. So you can actually cosplay in the game like this now. What, what the heck? I guess I can't load both up at the same time. But hey, there we go. Mega Man. I can go from my Mega Man outfit to my Iron Man outfit. Unfortunately, I don't have any way of shooting like a shot. Um, what else is in this update? Let me go back to the page here. Um, so what else? Jungle Temple. Yeah, let's see if there's even a Woodland Mansion in this place. So locate, structure, Woodland. Woodland should be a structure I can find. Uh, mansion. And let's see if it even Just finds once. one. Said. How do I add .jar files to Adernos? Man, I forgot how to do that. I, mean, I haven't logged on to Eternos in a long time. Miyuki. I don't think you Said. can. In this update, removed Herobrine. But that was never a hero brine. But that's my sun skin. Uh, let me see here. Let me go to create servers and edit. So let's go ahead and create. It's been such a long time. Oh man, continue with that blocker. Okay, so files. I don't think you can actually go. I'm not gonna disable my blocker. Whatever property say you don't have upper level files adjustment to do Miyuki that. Said Herobrine is just a blind Steve with a cool looking name. A blind Steve with a cool looking name for sure. Yeah, you don't have upper access. You can access only your server properties and your world. Yeah, see, that's kind of blocking it every single time here. Yeah, you really don't have a lot of access on a Terranos uh, to add the jar, jar file. Uh, so what you could do instead is just load a server on your own computer. Uh, so you just have to go on here and download the jar uh jar file yeah once you have it downloaded on your own computer you can make your own server on your own computer that's by running the jar file oh wait it probably wasn't done downloading huh my, never mind it got denied it got denied that's so weird. Hold on. Did it really get denied? Let's go. Okay, it's downloading. Downloading, downloading. And refresh. Error, a G J N I error has occurred. Please check your installation and try again. Java Virtual Machine Launcher. A Java exception has occurred. Huh. That's weird. Hmm. I, I wonder if my computer just isn't running the latest Java. Miyuki. Said a figure job. A 96. A 96. Oh, did you roll? What version of Java am I using? I'm using version 8. Ah, that is my issue. Minecraft 1.20 Java requirements. Uh, Minecraft Java edition 1.20. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. What version of Java does 1.19 use? Miyuki. It just requires Said. a bit of patience. The very first version of Java 0.00. .00. Yeah, so it says that 
Uh, if you're unsure that you're using Java version 19 or higher, so that's my problem right now. I'm using like a super old version of Java that I probably should update. Um, that's why I'm not able to load that jar file. Boom. But I really, really like this update so far, guys. And I think we're going to be cutting it off there. Um, thank you, everybody, for actually hanging out with me today. Miyuki, you hung out with me from the very, very end. <clears throat> Dimly as well, welcome into the stream for the very first time. I do appreciate you being chatty, hanging out with us. Uh, also, big shout out to Stormy as well. Pop it into the chat a bit earlier. Just Bennett's, Just Bennett's also popped in and became a subscriber, I believe. Uh, where's my thing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. whoa, see that guy right there? I like this yeah. one. Also, Dimly. Dr. Tudors Said. also became a subscriber. Bye. It was fun. Yeah, Smiley it was nice face. to go through the update. Like, I like to do the, uh, every time there's like a big snapshot of new content, I think it's really, really cool. Like, I skipped, today was Wednesday, Miyuki. World of Warcraft Wednesday. Said, no, Stormy didn't pop in. I just asked where he was. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Maybe he didn't appear because generally today is Wednesday. I generally stream World of Warcraft Wednesdays, but I figured with the release of 1.20, um, we went ahead and covered like, you know, how to download the file. So we'll go over it really quick again. I'm going to go ahead and shut down completely out of Minecraft and then we'll run through once again, really, really quickly, how to install Minecraft 1.20. Let's go ahead and quit there, quit there. And then let's load up the launcher. Miyuki said, okay, so on your Minecraft the old server now. Uh, I thought you were having issues logging on to it. Um, so everybody, if you want to install the temp, what's it called? The latest snapshot. So hey, everybody, welcome into the stream. Welcome into the video. If you are looking to download or play on the latest snapshot of Minecraft 1.20 and you have your launcher up, this is what you're going to have to do. Uh, upon selecting hand here on the bottom left hand side, you'll be able to see the latest snapshot available to Miyuki. you said i am but it's fixed at least oh, i hope fixed so it. Oh, okay nice you fixed it uh down here on the bottom left hand side you're going to select the latest snapshot if that option is not available for you on your launcher you're going to head up top to your installations and it may appear here you're going to look for that uh that again you're going to be looking for that latest snapshot underneath your installations if you do not see the latest snapshot in here make sure that you select the box up here to um to see all of the snapshots that are out so right here we have the latest snapshot right below it's going to show you what snapshot release it is in this example it's 23 whiskey 04 alpha which if we go back to this page uh right here there we go 23 whiskey 04 alpha these are all this is the update right here uh, it's going to be right there and you can select play or if you do not see the latest snapshot there You can go to your new installation Go to your version look for that snapshot right here. You can always do a search by going to 3w04 Alpha and then you'll see the snapshots right there. You're going to look for the latest snapshot select it and then give your um, Give your launcher like a name. So in this case, I'm just going to do uh, do the name itself like that and then go to your more options Make sure that you set your Java arguments to 4 gigs because anytime you're running 1.19 or higher You're generally going to use 4 gigs or your game may have a really high chance of crashing uh, Then go ahead and hit create So boom, we've created that that installation right there so we can go back to our play and look for the installation name and then hit play once you've done that, it's going to prepare to load up that snapshot. So this is going to take, you know, a little bit of time, depending on how powerful your computer is. Uh, probably after, you know, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute, it's going to begin popping up. So let's go ahead and you can see right here, Minecraft 2.3 Whiskey 04 Alpha. That is the snapshot release that we're wanting to play. And let's go ahead and wait for this thing to get loaded. 
Once you are loaded, click on single player, click on create new world. Now, this is the next important step. Now that you have actually selected the latest snapshot, you need to go into your data packs right here and make sure that you enable the bundles. You want to enable the experimental bundle with all of the items. This is going to be all of the, the, um, the smithing tablets and the new eggs and stuff, then you're going to want to also enable the new features for content. So uh, in order for the smithing tablets to actually appear in the set areas, you're going to want to have those enabled. You're gonna get a little experimental feature warning. Go ahead and proceed through that and then give your world a name. Make sure that you're in creative so you can test out your features and create your new world. And bada bing, you're going to have the experimental 1.20 update loaded. So that is how to once again install Minecraft 1.20 for your Minecraft world. So yeah, that is going to be it from you guys. I hope everybody has had a good time in today's stream covering the 1.20 update. I myself am really looking forward to this. I think uh, from 1.17, they revamped the whole world. The addition of the warden really didn't add a lot of content. They added like the sneaky, the warden, but there's really no reason to go down there to the warden, right? Ah! The mouse's ghostly howl stakes claim to. Ah! Ah! Oh my goodness! Yeah, there's really no reason for people to go down and go to the warden. Once they get an Elytra, why do they have to go back to the end cities? There's no reason to go to end cities or pillager outposts or look for um, like the underwater structures. 1.20 is going to give people that incentive to push themselves to go for those bastions and all the other areas of the world. <laughs> hey, I'm not in the game anymore. I'm not so focused and not dying in my hardcore world. But good try, Miyuki. Good try. Uh, but that's going to be it from you guys. So I do appreciate everyone tuning in today. Uh, big shout out once again to Miyuki, first one in the chat tonight, hanging out with us at the very end. Also, big shout out for Dimly in the chat, hanging out with us as well, Just Prince. And it looks like also a uh, big shout out to Dr. Tutors for subscribing and also joining us here in the chat for a bit saying hello. Uh, looks like somebody joined the chat but didn't say hello. Rylan, if you're out there, I do see that you're here in the channel. But you may not have actually talked in the stream, but I see everybody out there who joins. I have ways to see who's out there watching. So that is going to be it for me. Hey, another reminder, I will not be streaming on Friday. Um, I'm going to be traveling. Uh, we have our anniversary this weekend, so I will not be in town on Friday, Saturday. And it'll be coming back Sunday. We're going to be going playing in the snow. Uh, so no stream on Friday night. But Monday we'll be back. And we will be playing our hardcore world 1.19 better Minecraft. So yeah. No, we're, we got an Airbnb. And like a little, we got an Airbnb, rented a cabin up in the woods. So we're going to take the, the kiddos. And we're going to go have some fun in the snow. And it's a really, really nice spot. So we're going to have some fun. But that is going to be it from you guys. I hope everyone has had a good time. And I will see you guys in the next stream. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Adios. Los Fides, son. Ciao. Kambawa. Ohio Gazamas. You know, all that stuff. Bye-bye, everyone. said. Pretends to hand Miyuki 100,000 gold and quickly runs away. 